We are continuing our journey across the Great Step. So in the first episode we saw the pictures Gorge of Bayankol, touched the sacred inscriptions on the Tamgalit Taz Gorge and visited the Valley of the Kings, the necropolis of Beshater, the oldest Scythian mounds. Today we'll move in space and we'll find ourselves on the Arabian continent without crossing the borders of the country. We'll take a leap into the past of our planet and even visit Mars. Don't believe it? Stay tuned to find out more. Let's go! You might think I'm in Dubai. No, this singing sand dune is a unique natural phenomenon, not only because the sand dune makes sounds, but also because of its rare and surprising location among stone mountains. Ai Gai Kum is a mountain of light sand in the middle of the traditional one, in this rocky desert and Hiloxalon, and it really amazes. That's when Shikari Zadi's fairy tales immediately come to mind, don't you think so? You just start looking for the majestic caravans of camels, mirages, oases, and other attributes of the Arabian desert. But no, the amazing sand dune is just 182 kilometers northeast of Almaty. Why was it called Aigai? The dune singing is scientifically explained by the fact that when the weather is dry enough, the grains of sand moving with the wind create a kind of vibration. And if you listen, it looks like organ music. According to approximate calculations, the age of the dune is 3 to 5,000 years, the length is 3 kilometers and its height is 150 meters. And it was formed due to the strong wind called Shilik. For millennia, the wind raised clouds of sand dust from the shores of the Ili River and took them in one direction. But on its way it faced Mali and Bolshoi Kalkan, the ridges of the Jungarian Ala town. Going through the natural corridor, the wind weakened and dropped the sand. And that's how a wonderful natural phenomenon appeared. It is one of the seven new wonders of the world. At the same time, the first film crew continues its expedition in Almaty region and keeps discovering new routes. Where is Anton now? Everyone knows about the existence of the Dead Sea in Israel. It's salty, Egypt's slain do not drown. But only a few people know that there is a similar lake in Armati region. And right now we are leaving the Bayan Kol Gorge and heading towards this lake, Lake Tuskol. The road is bumpy, so think about the cushions in advance if you are going into school direction. You can reach the Salt Lake from the Bayankol Gorge in just a few hours. Although those 60 kilometers of the road are not the easiest ones because the route mainly runs through the foothills. Now we are on the southwestern spurs of the Katmen Ridge. From this point, a beautiful view opens up to the highest point of Kazakhstan, Kantengri Peak, next to Pobeda Peak and other famous peaks of the Tian Shan Mountains. We are now on the way to Lake Tuzkol. The road is not so bumpy here, but still you can feel it, so get ready. Well, I think it's worth it. Of course, do not forget to fasten your seatbelts. Right now, I'm going to take a selfie. A delightful panorama is the hallmark of this place. By the way, they say that when the weather is good at sunset, the peak of Kontengri lights up with a scarlet shade and shines for a long time even after all the surrounding peaks are plunged into darkness. 
a beautiful sky surrounded by majestic mountains, always inspired to create beauty and feel the present, forgetting about the usual bustle of big cities. So the participants of the second expedition open new frontiers and horizons. I haven't ridden the sand yet, now I'll do it, and I hope I will get incredible emotions. Well, it's wet, so I didn't ride the whole way. It is not surprising that since ancient times, singing dunes have caused many popular superstitions. Spirits of the desert, fantastic animals, underground rivers and even buried cities. This is how our ancestors explained that phenomenon. One of the legends says that a shaitan or ancestral spirit is sleeping under the sand and that his moans are spread around the area. Anyways, Aigai Kum certainly deserves attention and remains one of the must-see places of Almaty region. If you decide to get to the very peak of this sand dune like I did, you will need some endurance. It takes 30 to 40 minutes. I'm tired. The team continues discovering the Altinamen Reserve. It is interesting that Lake Tuskol was called Dobanur in the times of nomads, which means wind lake. The wind speed here is really high and at times reaches hurricane speed. Here it is, Lake Tuskol. It is located in the inter-mountain area between the mountains Yelchin Boiruk and Karatau. The length of the lake is 5 kilometers, and the width in some places reaches 1 kilometer. By the way, the salinity of this lake reaches 300 grams per 1 liter, but it varies depending on the season. For comparison, the Dead Sea in Israel, its maximum concentration of salt is 350 grams per 1 liter. Salty. Lake Tuskol is a popular place for Sunday among Almaty residents, among the ones who live in Narinkol district. It is believed that it is therapeutic. The composition of salty water is supposedly close to the Dead Sea. It is believed that the lake has healing properties, it has a good effect on the joints, but so far, unfortunately, there is no infrastructure on its banks. Probably it's not difficult to build some simple houses for tourists or trailers, and then the number of tourists would increase. But you need to understand that this place is local and has the regional scale. This mountain lake is located at the altitude of 1,959 meters above sea level. It is compared not only with the Dead Sea in Israel, but also with the Great Salt Lake in the United States. Bordered with high mountain ranges, this azure water space really impresses with its tranquility and pacification. Even with the strongest winds, there are no waves on the lake, only large ripples, while water requires a silvery tint due to foaming. Of course, tourists from other countries come to see those beautiful places. I love traveling and being in the nature, discovering new countries and cultures. 
Lake Tuskol was the second destination of the trip. What are your impressions? It's an incredibly beautiful place. It just draws you in from the first moments. It was such a precious experience. Did you know the lake is famous not only for its location, but also for the healing effects of its salty water? I didn't know that. Who could have known that Kazakhstan had its own Dead Sea? Would you recommend coming here to your friends and family? Of course, I hope to come back here with them. The stony semi-desert unexpectedly gives way to a variety of small oases. Willows, salt tree and tamarisk feed with moisture from underground sources dislodging to the surface. This is Minbulak, which means Thousand Springs. This willow is 700 years old. Can you imagine? It has been here for seven centuries and how many historical events it has seen. According to legends, Genghis Khan himself and his army rested under this willow. Perhaps I will take a break as well. Relief bark is covered with wrinkles and mighty roots are growing from the ground. You can enjoy the cool shadow of a sacred tree on the cordon of Kozbastau, 30 kilometers from the village of Bashi. Who knows, maybe that tree has been around when Temujin and his army went to war. Here it is, the spring called Menbulak. People say that it has healing properties and treats all sorts of diseases. Now I will try it and say what it tastes like. The taste, I would say, is specific. Kazakhstan continues striking with its magnificent diversity of nature and attractions. Our journey continues and the first film crew is now at the local Dead Sea, Lake Tuskol. Let's see together. The lake is located in the boundless steppe. There are no bushes, no trees, nothing high around it. Therefore, while getting ready here, think in advance where to hide from the sun and how to protect yourself from sunburns. And they say that sage and salt grass grow near the lake and water here has healing properties. There are legends about it. Well, now, let's go down and check. Lake Tuskol can be visited at any time of the year, but the most favorable season is from June to September. In the summer, the temperature during the day often exceeds 30 degrees, but at night it is rather cool. At the altitude of more than 2,000 meters, there are often frosts. Camping is possible directly on the shore, but often tourists choose nearby hills. The view from there is amazing, especially at dawn and dusk. No river flows into Lake Tuskol and nothing flows out of it. Underground springs, that's where the water comes from. In general, it is amazing. You are standing surrounding by the mountains and the steppe and here it is. Tuskol. The fauna of the mountains located around the lake is very diverse. Especially many animals live on the slopes of the Karatau Ridge. Lake Tuskol and its surroundings are famous for the huge diversity of the bird world. It is the main nesting place for water birds living in the Kazakhstan part of the central Tian Shan. It is said that at least 35 different species live here. Meanwhile, Jodez and the second team continue to explore the picturesque sites of the Jungari and Alatau. I wonder where are our discoverers going now? Mm -hmm. 
So here are Aktau unique chalk mountains that appeared in the Cenozoic era. Mainly it is mountain of plastered clay, which is done by the nature using wind and water with its boundless and bizarre fantasy. The total lack of vegetation only emphasizes the fantastic lunar landscape of those mountains. The view here is extraordinarily beautiful. The mountains are mysterious. Aktau means white mountains in Kazakh. And the white color prevails here, but there are many other colors, including burgundy and orange, yellow and sometimes even purple. Some say that many millions of years ago there was an ocean, as evidenced by sedimentary layers similar to sandcastle well or to puff pastry. Aktau is a unique, world-famous paleontological deposit. As a result of the excavations, traces of extinct subtropical plants were found here, as well as the fossils of the most ancient animals, crocodiles, turtles and giant rhinos that lived on Earth 25 to 30 million years ago. Be sure to take a photo in this open-air geological museum. Dear viewers, we have a contest. You need to find this hill where I stand. It is in the camping area opposite to this red mountain. Make the same photo and post it in your social media accounts using the hashtag Across the Kazakh Land. And you might get gifts from our TV channel. Well, are you ready? Let's go! You can follow our large-scale expedition on social media using the hashtag Across the Kazakh Land. And right now you can find out what the first film crew has explored at the amazing Lake to School. The most valuable are Grey Crane and Demoiselle Crane. There are also various species of wild ducks and geese and also a whooper swan. But in these mountains there are Steppe Eagle and Golden Eagle listed in the Red Book of Kazakhstan. Maybe because of the time of the day or the number of uninvited visitors on a personal territory, our team only saw a number of birds and only from an impressive distance. However, the guys did not get upset about this and the sun began to heat more. Therefore, it was a great moment to switch attention from the surrounding beauties to the water. Swimming in Lake Tuskol is not prohibited, even recommended. Hello, how's water? Great! <laughs> but remember that the water here is very salty, so if you swim in Lake Tuskol, you must always have a supply of fresh water with you, so that you can wash it off afterwards. I promise to try it right now. The bottom is of course salty and falls in. And the smell is great, good smell. I can't even describe it. You must feel it. Maybe it is not very pleasant, but specific. Here, in fact, it is very shallow. Legs are covered over the shin. It seems that if I fail, this will be the last shot. But know that it was very helpful, because the water is very salty, and under the feet there are clay and silt. I'm coming. When traveling to these regions, you must take with you a complete set of things, including water, tent, warm clothes and food. It would also be good to have a protective repellent against insects and mites. By the way, five kilometers north of Lake Tuskol, there is a river. There you can get enough fresh water to rinse after swimming. Well, not only the water in Lake Tuskol has healing properties, they say that clay is very useful too. It is used for treatment. You can use it on the body and face.
Camping for tourists is located at the foot of the mountain Aktau. Here you can set up a tent, which we actually did. The entry fee to the national park is 1,041 tenge. And also you need to take a guide because it's easy to get lost in these surroundings. And there are wild animals. To the west of Aktau, just half an hour away, there is Katutau or the Stern Mountains. In the Permian period about 240 million years ago, two large volcanoes existed in this place. Actually, the mountains are composed of lava and volcanic rocks. The place is very popular among foreign tourists. They come here to make photos. And they say that local sky is extraordinarily beautiful and starry. I hope I will be able to see this beauty. Continuing the theme, the film crew seem to have left the moon and landed on lifeless Mars. The red-hot underground lava breaking out and freezing took on truly bizarre shapes. By the way, the rocks look impressive, but the solid is very soft and literally crumbles in hands. An incredible landscape that is worth being a scene for space opera or an inspiration for a painter. However, it is time to return to Earth to a cozy tent camp. By the way, do not forget that you can easily find the latest news and vivid photos from our expedition in social media using the hashtag across the Kaza clan. And now, attention, we have prepared a surprise for you. If you can repeat our photo and post it on the Instagram using the hashtag across the Kazakh land, you have chances to get prizes from our TV channel. Ready? One, two, three. And here we are again among the cosmic landscapes. The magnificent mountains of Aktau and Katutau are amazing and attract travelers from around the world. The mountains of Aktau are sedimentary mountains. This is the ocean bed and sometimes it can be seen that there are shells, shell rock and limestone. The Katutau mountains have volcanic origin. They are younger. If you climb a little higher, then you can find the crater of an ancient volcano there. And all these intricate bends are basalt lava flows. And of course, this is paradise for photographers. Sunsets, amazing sunrises. No one has ever left the place without a good photo. Here are the tourists. A small group of extreme travelers from China met our crew near the campsite. Of course, we asked the guys to share their emotions and impressions and tell us more about the route of their expedition in Kazakhstan. Hello, my name is Xiang Zhang. I'm from China, from the city of Beijing. I think mountains here are very beautiful and I enjoy a picturesque landscape. The most important thing is responsiveness of people. We like the nature. We had a ride with a team. It was great. Hi, and my name is Sinora. I'm also from Beijing. You have such a good sympathetic people, beautiful nature and very beautiful mountains. And the view from there is great. That's all for today. Another extraordinary spot of our country revealed its secrets and amazed with its majestic beauty. The delightful landscapes of the Jungarian Alatau and unique natural objects in the vicinity of the Tian Shan are worth visiting. After all, when you're traveling, you're discovering not only the world around you, but also yourself, your own resources. Follow our exciting trip using the hashtag across the Kazakh land. See you soon.